All right, hello everyone, it's Randulo again. Um, so this is going to be just kind of a short video. I've been continuing to work on, um, still have no name for it, but a little card game here. Uh, I didn't do too much, but what I did work on is kind of having characters move around, selecting things, animations. So let me go ahead and show you what I have right now. Right here, headset on, so... Same thing as before, you got the little characters, you know, they pop up, it's great. Um, you see all of them, I added a little spider character, which is really kind of creepy, but whatever. So now, if you take a character, you put them in a slot like that. If you hold the grip buttons and roll over one of them, it could be in any, choose one, um, it selects it on this side, and then if you go over the other characters and select one like that, it selects it on the other side, and then still just set up to a button on the controller we changed eventually but what happens is you press the button they move over he attacks he moves back and the hp of the enemy changes based on the attack power of um your character so that one was 10 i believe this one should be 20 or that one was 30 okay moves back there's a couple little glitches with some things but That'll be fixed eventually. Eh. This one should be 20 then. Yeah, almost 20. Um, and what will eventually happen once the health is reduced to zero, obviously, or less than. Uh, one more time. What will happen is the other character will die and they will disappear. So that's what I worked on over the last day. Um, slowly making its way towards an actual game. There's, you know, little visual glitches here and there, but the core mechanics are working more or less. So, just going to continue to polish that and keep things going. Uh, if you guys have suggestions or, you know, any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments and uh, I'll try to answer them. All right.